welcome to Kosh Academy, Unwinding the Kosh of Your Knowledge. In this particular video, we'll see what are control groups in Tosca and how they can be used. We'll be considering the example of Tricentis Demo Web Shop. The prerequisites to have the control groups is that you can create them only for three types of controls. They are links, buttons and radio buttons. For other types of controls, you cannot create a control group. So let's see how to create them. So here on our demo web shop, we have this menu bar and these menu are tra tracked in terms of links. So I have already created a module for this one named as control group links and I have already created a control group named as menu. So in order to create a control group, you first need to scan these elements and select the similar types of elements, right click and click on convert to control group. Once you click on convert to control group, you get to see here new control group. So you can name it as per your wish. So for demo purpose, I am renaming this to speed. If you want to remove the control group, you can again right click on it and click on convert to separate X module attributes. So these control groups when used in test case section, you get to see a drop down menu from where you have to select from the links available. So I have already created one test case over here and dragged and dropped these modules. So if you take a look at this, I have this control group menu and here I get to see a drop down containing all the links that I have scanned. The important thing to remember is that when you are using control group in the test case section, only particular action modes are used for particular types of controls. For example, for link control, Having a control group, you can use only two types of action mode, either input or verify. Verify action mode confirms the existence of that particular control and using input, you can click on this particular books control. So let's execute this to see. Firstly, it will verify if books link exists there and secondly, it will click on it. Here we go. In case of buttons, I'll first go to the desktop, add to cart. So these are the different buttons I have selected and scanned. So in case of button type of control, you get to have wait on action mode, verify and input. So you can wait for a button control to appear. You can verify if it exists and then you can click on it using input action mode. Let's go ahead and execute this. Okay. And thirdly, we have different types of radio buttons over here to select the processor, RAM and HDD. So here I'm inputting it as slow RAM. I'm verifying whether it is 2 GB and HDD of 320 GB. Let's go ahead and execute this one as well. All right, so it has verified the existence for 2 GB RAM and selected the values for speed and HDD. So what are the benefits of using this control groups? Let's say you have a big website containing n number of links or any other controls. So that time while scanning, you can scan different types of modules separately. So it's always easier to track and fix them for maintenance purpose. Also, when you're using control group, 
the modules when they are used in the test case section your test steps become more readable i hope this video is helpful to you thank you